Hi, Tony Malkin here, and uh, delighted to be able to speak with you from our Empire State Building, where, with the uh, Clinton Climate Initiative, Johnson Controls, and Jones Lang LaSalle, uh, including the Rocky Mountain Institute, we did some pioneering work, which is presently being implemented, in energy efficiency retrofits in the existing built environment. You know, in New York City, 80% of the energy consumed is consumed in the built environment. 20% of our buildings consume 80% of that energy. So 64% of all energy consumed, including transportation and everything else, is consumed in buildings in New York City. At the Empire State Building, with a performance guarantee contract, we are conserving about 40% of our watts and BTU consumption. Now, if that 40% were applied to the 20%, which consumes 64%, we'd have a 25% savings of all energy consumption in all of New York City. It can happen. We have a quantitative, transparent, replicable process, non-proprietary and open source. My suggestion for somebody who would like to consider this is, number one, certainly visit our website, www.esbsustainability.com, which gives in great detail what we're doing at the building. Again, that's www.esbsustainability.com. But I would also say that it's extremely important to set up a program which takes you from point one to point last involving a game plan to achieve deep integrated energy efficiency retrofit. You've got to take into account life cycle cost analysis. It may not be appropriate to replace every device and every system in your building all at once. But by establishing a phase one review, which will set forth a program and a game plan and a blueprint over time, you'll know when each new investment opportunity comes up and you'll already have the solution as to how you get towards your end integrated process. So that would be my suggestion. Of course, we're delighted if people would come and take a look at what we've done here, but we're also delighted that several billion more square feet in New York City alone are already deploying the process which was established here to try to drive, again, deep integrated energy efficiency into buildings. That's energy efficiency without compromise, okay? No darker, no colder, no hotter. High performance buildings achieving the same result with less energy. Now for those of you involved in the policy area, my suggestion to you would be that we have got to move into the forefront energy conservation as an alternative form of energy. Do you know that for every dollar invested, you get three to five times the number of watts through energy conservation than you do through wind, solar, geothermal. So when you stop to think about it, when the US government is giving out incentives, tax credits, accelerated depreciation, or allowing the expensing of capital expenditure, we in the real estate industry have got to be able to use the quantitative approach established here at the Empire State Building to argue effectively for our share of those benefits. Energy conservation means a smaller grid, means less infrastructure investment. We should receive a benefit for that that's equal to the benefits that are being given out to people working with other forms of alternative energy. Remember, an, a watt conserved is just the same as a watt produced. And the carbon saving comes along for free. So anyway, it's been a pleasure to have a chance to chat with you. Now again, I hope you'll visit www.esbsustainability.com to learn more.